What's up, ladies? This is Jason, Zombie Collector, and I have done it. I have done it, guys. I went to the dark side, and this is the first time I can say, like, it's like I'm, like, uh, coming out, so to speak. This is my uh, hashtag walk away from Raw video. Not completely, but it, it sounded good at the time. In my head, I way I played it out. But um, I've been talk, I've been listening to Phil talk a lot. Listen a lot of Jeff Bowman fifty uh, one, uh, JT Triple Crown twenty four, uh, a lot of those guys stealing second. Sean and there's like a lot of guys I respect, and I just started realizing, you know, they make some really good points about cards. As long as I'm not gonna, if I'm spending the same amount of it on Raw, or if I want to make some investments and some stuff and just see, and I'm not burning the house down to try to do it, maybe I'll buy some Raw because. All these cards are for me for my collection. I'm not buying anything. I'm not prospecting. I'm not trying to uh, flip the cards. So this is just me going, okay, I'll spend a little bit more than a dollar per slab. Now, what I'm getting ready to show you today is probably not going to set the interwebs on fire or anything, but I've showed a few slabs before I picked up, but like literally they were a dollar with like free shipping or like $2 shipping. So it was just kind of like for kicks and giggles. This was a little bit more of a, like, I went outside of my comfort zone and gave it the old college try, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. I don't know, that this is not necessarily going to be, like, an all-the-time thing with me, but this is just, like, you know, me thinking, you know, let's give it a shot, see if I like it, see how it turns out. So, here it is. So, the first one up is a, uh, from Beckett, but I like it because they have all the subgrades. It is a Masahiro Tanaka 9.5. On his rookie card. Now, if I show real close there, you see it's, uh, I believe, 9.5 is on everything except for centering, which, again, I'm by no means a professional. And this is just his regular Bowman paper, and this might this might be a card that never goes anywhere. And, again, it's not because I'm buying it because I'm trying to make money off of it. I'm purely buying it because, you know, I collect Japanese ball players, And this guy, this is almost perfect. It's a gem mint as they said right there on that label. So there's the back of the card again. I'm sure most of y'all could care less. But, you know, I thought it was a good-looking card. It's a great, you know, and I should say out of this whole stack of cards, including shipping, I spent a total of uh, $25, I believe. Maybe close to $30, and that might be like $27, I think, total. That's including all five cards, I believe, all five cards. So, if you think of it like that, so even let's say it's a complete bust, each card, if I understand correctly, around seventeen dollars to to grade, give or take maybe a few dollars. So basically, two cards, maybe two and a half cards, is what. It, and then I got the other three cards for essentially free. So if you think of it in those terms, I think that it makes sense for me because like each one of these cards, roughly, you can calculate out to be about five bucks a piece. So, you know, some cards are a bit more than that, some are a little bit less. So there's the first one. The rest of them are PSA DNA. Or not DNA, PSA cards. See, I'm so such a novice. I'm such a, uh, a, a, a pretender. I can't even tell you the, the right terminology. So next one up is a 2017 Silver Pack Promo Green. It is a Mint 9, numbered out of 150. This is number 6 out of 150. In the, in the actual auction, they didn't even say it was numbered. So I just, just got it basically because I love the color green and I like and I love this player. And it is a Kenta Maeda, uh, number nine. And as you see there, silver pack promo green mint. So there you go. I just love it. I'm sure the uh, the the... The plastic's probably not doing it justice in a lot of ways, but you all get you all get it. As you see on the back there, it's the number six out of one fifty. But I just green's my favorite color. Kenta Maeda is one of those guys. I feel like he's like a very underappreciated pitcher for the Dodgers or for in baseball in general. I feel like he's been like a big time performer, very consistent. So there you go. And again, I'm sorry if I'm not doing these. I probably maybe should have taken them out of the, the, the plastic. But again, that's just not my style. 
Next up is a 2013 Bowman. Uh, I don't know what you call it. It says a Bowman and something in here. Bowman. I don't know. I don't even want to say that out loud because it sounds inappropriate. Rookie. Let's just say rookie. Mint 9. Christian Yelich. So there you are. Bowman, DP, and pros. I don't even want to know what that's supposed to mean. So, but there you have it. It's a nine mint. You have it as a Christian Yelich, as you all know. All these cards, these are players I collect. And getting their rookie card, getting a rookie card in a nine. I can do that all day long. And I have high hopes for him to continue to be a monster on the field. Uh, almost was a triple crown winner two years ago. If he didn't get hurt this year, he almost won. The batting title, he did win the batting title in 2018. He could have won in 2019, but he ended up, I think, breaking his foot or something had happened, and so he ended up not being able to finish out the season. But he definitely was in the running along with him and Belly. And I think Peter Alonso actually, too, was in the running. So I don't know what the outcome is going to be of all that, but he was definitely uh, in there for a while. So there's my Christian Yelich card. Next up is a number to number nine, 2018 throwback Thursday of Juan Soto. So there you have it. I was inspired by his performance in the playoffs, especially in the World Series, and especially at the beginning of the World Series, he was just like, could not do any wrong. And I thought he did great. And I love, I think this might be his first rookie card that came out. I mean, it's not definitely is not the most desirable or anything like that. But again, you see it's a nine. And uh, there's the back of the card. I'm sure I'm not showing you all anything you don't already know about with this card. Let me just bring it a little bit closer for your viewing pleasure. But anyway, I just thought this card looked really nice. It's a good image of Juan. And if he ends up turning out to be as good as everybody says he is, this will be a nice card to have in the collection. And again, guys, you know, I just, you know, wanted to kind of find some things I thought might look nice in my collection, and that's that's uh, what I decided to do. And then last but certainly not least is a 2018 Topps Heritage Mint 9 uh, high number of Ronald Acuna Jr. from the Atlanta Braves. So there you go, Mint 9. So, again, guys, I got these cards because of I just wanted to collect something that I thought that actually might have some uh, possible monetary value in the future. Maybe not at all. Maybe it could be bust. But these are players that I've been kind of excited to watch this past year. Uh, and then, like I said, some of them are just players that I collect anyways. And so if I can get their rookie cards or I insert cards for a couple bucks and then have them slabbed, why not? I mean, like, three out of the five cards are people I collect anyways. The Kuna and the Soto were four bucks, a, four or five bucks a piece, and their cards probably raw is about that, or at least close to it. So getting them graded in a nine, I'll do that deal all day long. So that is it. I, you know, definitely leave me your thoughts, your, your what you all think, I, how I did. I can handle the truth. You all know I am very um, transparent. You all know I can handle um, uh, truth bombs. So let me know how you all think. If I did, I did about $25 for that stuff.